Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. Today's video is video number two in my series of how to dress for your body shape. And today's body shape that I'm gonna discuss is the apple-shaped body. If you'd like to hear my tips for dressing your apple-shaped body, then stay tuned now. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, two things before I get started. First is my outfit of the day. We'll start with uh, these earrings. These are old. I think I purchased these from Zara maybe two years ago. This style is called a door knocker because it looks like the old fashioned knockers that used to uh, knock on the front door. It has some pearl detail. These are really cute and I love these because it's a timeless silhouette and it's pearls and gold are a timeless um, piece as well. So and they're small and dainty. I think they look really, really cute with my shirt. This shirt is from Lily Silk. Um, it has these pearl and gold buttons and that's why I chose the earrings that match. This was gifted to me by Lily Silk, I think probably a year and a half ago. Um, but I have several of their pieces, probably about seven or eight. I absolutely love that silk. It's really, really nice quality. And the color that you see is the color that you see when you get it in the box. And the wrapping is so nice in the box. It's just an experience when you get a lily silk piece. It has the really nice tissue paper and you open it and it's just beautiful. And the, the quality is outstanding. It really, really is. This is not sponsored, but I'm just telling you, it really is outstanding. I have this one in green and I also have a Merlot one, a wine type looking color one, and I have some slip dresses and so, but this is my favorite. And I also have sheets. On my bottom, I have my Good American Fit and Flare jeans. As you can see here, because they're fit, the jeans are fitting. <laughs> fitting and flaring. Oops. I moved away from the microphone. See the microphone <laughs> projection just told me to move back up. So yeah, the microphone is right here. So these are my jeans. My scent of the day is Amouage. Hold one moment, please. I think it's called Amouage Woman, but it's Amouage and it is a Middle Eastern fragrance. Um, it has a little oud in it, not too much. It's very different, very new, unique. If you like a unique scent and you don't want to smell like anyone else, this is a great scent. I love it. This scent lasts all day long when you spray it on. It has lots of oils in it. They have a really nice line of female and male fragrances. And they're just different. If you've never smelled Middle Eastern fragrances, I recommend you give it a try before you buy because she's expensive. I think this is probably around 300 dollars but if you, it's unique it's pretty it has some floral scent in it but it has a little bit of oud in it as well and i love it absolutely love it so this is my scent of the day and the second thing i want to do is honor a woman who made history in the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. It is National Women's History Month, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do that. And that woman is Erin Jackson. Erin Jackson is from Ocala, Florida, and she is the first woman to win American gold in speed skating. She won American gold in the 500 meters, and she did that in 37.04 seconds. So Erin Jackson, I honor you. So I'm gonna start this video like I'm gonna start all the others in this series saying, I really, really want you, regardless of your shape, regardless of your size, to love the body that you're in. Again, it's the only one you're gonna get. God made you perfect in his own image, and I want you to do whatever it takes to learn to love your body. It is okay to say, I wish my boobs were a little bit bigger, I wish my waist were a little bit small, smarter, or I wish my waist was a little bit smaller, but you still need to love the body that you're in. You need to speak good things to her. You need to treat her well so that she will last a long time and treat you well in turn. And making my recommendations for dressing the apple body, I'm gonna go from the neck down. So first of all, we'll start with the neckline. The perfect neckline for an apple body is a V-neck. It's gonna show off your nice bust line. It's gonna show off your shoulders. It's gonna make you look elongated. It's gonna draw the attention upwards and it just looks really, really nice practically on everyone. So a V-neck is gonna be your best neckline for your dresses, for your tops, whatever you have. That V-neck is just gonna look great on you. First, I'm gonna start with tops. So the best top for a apple-shaped bottom is going to be a peplum top. An apple-shaped bottom. 
I said bottom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, thank you. So first of all, I'm gonna start with tops. The best tops for an apple-shaped body are gonna be a peplum top, a wrap top, and an empire waist top, but I'll tell you about each one. So with the peplum top, you want to have, make sure that it's not too clingly, clingly. <laughs> <laughs> so with the peplum top, you wanna to make sure it's not too clingy, make sure it's fitted, but just not too tight. You don't want to buy a peplum top that has loose fabrics or that are really, really tight because that defeats the purpose of the peplum top. Because with an apple body, we don't have a very defined waist. We want to give the illusion of a waist or we want to make it appear as if we have a much smaller waist than we have. So the peplum goes in at the place that it should go in and kind of goes out. So it's gonna give you more volume on the hips because with an apple shaped body, you typically don't have larger or wider hips. So that peplum is gonna make you look like you have more volume in your hip area and it's gonna give you what appears to be a more defined waist. It's just very, very nice looking on an apple shaped body. And also if it has a deep V, that's gonna give it an extra boost and make it look even prettier. And the same goes with the wrap top. A wrap top is gonna go around like this or around like this and it's gonna draw the eye away from the center of your body where you don't really want all the attention to be it's just going to give you a more slender, sleeker physique. Now, an empire waist top is really nice as well because it's going to make you appear as if your waist is a bit higher. And what you want to make sure of when you get in an empire waist dress is get one with a wider band. A wider band is truly going to look like a waistline. A smaller band is going to kind of tuck up under your breast and it's going to make you almost appear at times to look like you have on a maternity dress or a maternity shirt. So that is not what you want to do. You want to try to find a shirt or a dress with a wider band, but the Empire waist looks very, very nice. It shows off your girls, which look really nice. They typically will have a V-neck, so that looks nice as well. And it just elongates your torso and makes you look more sleek in the middle. Now I'm gonna start with dresses. So the dress is just like a top that look best on an apple shaped body or a wrap dress. Listen, a wrap dress is the mother of all dresses. Thank you, Diane von Furstenberg for just bringing that to our attention and highlighting a wrap dress. It just looks great on everybody's shape. So what you need to remember though, when you're wearing a wrap dress for an apple body is to make sure the tie is on the side. You don't want the tie to be in the front where it's gonna add extra fabric or extra bulk or bring the attention to the midsection. You really want it to be on the side so it just kind of curves and kind of pulls in the tummy a little bit at times and just brings the eye on the side instead of directly in the middle and they look fantastic. Again, another tip with a wrap dress, some of you may like a longer wrap dress, a maxi, but for an apple shaped body, my recommendation is to get your wrap dress hemmed or tailored above your knee. And I'll talk about that why later, but that is my recommendation for a wrap dress. Also, an empire waist dress is going to look great on you as well. Again, make certain that you, the empire waist has a wider band. It's going to look nicer. It's going to bring your eye up. It's going to make it look like your waist is much, much higher and kind of camouflage your midsection somewhat as well. Now we're going to talk about pants. For an apple shaped body, the best pants are high waist pants, whether they be slacks or jeans or tights. And that's going to help kind of suck in your midsection some. It's going to draw your eye up and make you appear a lot slimmer and just show off your fantastic legs. You heard me talking about legs later or why yeah, I think you should have the hemline of your dress above your knee. And that's because most ladies with apple shaped bodies have fan fantastic legs. They have very defined calves. They have small ankles. So that, that calf ankle ratio give them very shapely and very, very beautiful legs. I'll tell you about a story of a friend of mine. I was out, um, that's when I was my party days, I was out with one of my very, very, very close friends and one of her friends and she had on a dress, her friend had on a dress and it was kind of like a maxi dress and she was doing something and she pulled her dress up to scratch her leg or something. And I said, I, I remember saying, oh my God, your legs are so pretty. And she was like, really? I was like, girl, why would you ever wear a maxi dress? You should never ever in the rest of your life wear a maxi dress. You need to wear a dress above your knees. Her calves and her legs were just, she looked like she was a, a, a run like her calves were not ginormous, but they were just very, very formed and her ankles were small. They were just beautiful 
beautiful. Her legs were just muscular all the way up. They were just beautiful. And, and anyway, I digressed. But again, most ladies with an apple shaped body have beautiful legs. So make sure your pants are high waisted. You can wear a more fitted. You don't have to wear a skinny jean, but those do look nice. I know some ladies saying they're out of style, but I'm gonna always wear mine, but a more fitted or slimmer pant is going to look best on you. That's the same with shorts. Now a pair of shorts, you don't have to wear a slimmer short, but you can wear a short, Bermuda shorts are gonna look great because the Bermuda short is gonna cut off above your knee. So again, you're gonna see more skin. It's gonna make you look longer, especially if you wear a Bermuda short and your legs are out and you have on nude sandals or nude heels or nude, nude shoes, it's gonna look, your legs are gonna look really long and then you're gonna be able to show off those beautiful calves and those beautiful legs. So for jeans, wear a slimmer or for jeans or slacks, wear a slimmer pant. For shorts, I think a Bermuda short looks great on you and it is the best fit. And for your skirts, I personally believe a skirt that hits above your knee is going to look great again because it's going to show off your legs. But if you prefer maxi dresses, then you do that as well. But I don't recommend that you wear like an A-line cut. It's just gonna draw the eye down. It's just gonna take away from your legs and it's just not gonna be the most flattering silhouette on your body shape. So those are my recommendations for your top, for your bottoms, for your shorts, for your skirts. In my opinion, there are two perfect outfits for an apple shaped body. The first again is a wrap dress, whether it be a short sleeve, a long sleeve, whatever you have, as long as it's a true wrap dress where you can tie the belt on the side is going to look fantastic on you. It's really going to look really, really beautiful. The second outfit is a long line cardigan, whether you have a matching tee up under it or whether you just have a different shirt, that long line cardigan is going to hit all the way down your side. It's going to bring the eye from the top of your body to the bottom of your body. It's going to make you look longer and taller and more sleek. You're just going to have that peak of a different color if you're wearing something different down the middle. So it's going to draw your eye in, but that part that it draws your eye in to see is going to be very narrow. So it's going to make you look very sleek and tall and slim. You can do that with matching cardigan sets or you can do say like a, even if you want to do a black long line cardigan with a white t-shirt or something under it or a white long line cardigan with a black t-shirt in the middle, whatever your combination is going to be, is going to make you look tall. It's going to make you look slimmer. It's going to take the eye away from your midsection because you want to kind of bring the eye out and make you look very, very slim. And I just think those outfits look beautiful on apple shaped bodies. Now, my recommendations as far as accessories, um, some things you need to kind of steer away from are very, very clingy fabrics that are just gonna kind of cling to your body everywhere you, you don't want it to cling to. And very oversized pieces. There are a lot of ladies who feel like they're oversized, they don't like their shape, they just wanna hide it all and they buy something that's very, very oversized. It, it really does the complete opposite of what you want it to do. It's just gonna make you look that much even larger. So what you want to do is find pieces that fit your shape, not necessarily try to hide everything that you don't want to hide. Another thing that you need to steer away from if you have an apple shaped body is like a boat neck top. That's going to be a boat neck. I don't know that they look good on anyone to be honest, unless you're this very, very tiny, like a double zero or zero. That boat neck top just makes everyone just look very, very wide at the top. And it's just not flattering in my opinion for anybody's shape. So I would recommend you steer away from boat neck tops. Also, as far as accessories, I recommend that you either wear a crossbody if that's what you prefer, a smaller size, or you wear a shoulder bag that hangs. I don't recommend that you wear a bag that you put on your shoulder. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll be right back. A bag that sits like this. For an apple shaped body, it's gonna add extra bulk here. And you this is the main area you don't want to add extra bulk. So I don't recommend a purse that hits like this or that sits under your arm like this. I recommend a longer strap purse that's gonna hit at your waist because it's gonna add a little more bulk to your waist area, but it's okay because most apple shaped body ladies don't have larger hips, so that is quite all right. But if you prefer, if you have to have this sort of purse, I just recommend you hold it in your hand and don't hold it under your arm. Also, 
if you're an apple shaped body and you like to wear belts, some ladies don't have a large protruding abdomen. Some just have their weight just carries in their abdomen if they're apple shaped and they prefer to wear a belt. If you're going to wear a belt, my recommendation is that you wear a wide belt, not a tiny belt because a tiny belt can kind of get lost. A wide belt is going to bring the eye in. It's going to make you look like you have more definition in your waist and it's going to look actually very, very nice, especially if you have a wide belt and you have a peplum type top on. It's going to look beautiful. It's really going to give you that curve in or the illusion of a curve in with that peplum. So that's Shadia. I'll call her back. So it's going to give you the illusion of a smaller waist. So those are my recommendations for the apple shaped body. Well, that's it family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I greatly appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with me and I want you to have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.